Hi, I'm Steven with TeamDefiance.com. Thanks for tuning in again, where we've been talking about all of the proven methods on how to catch fish effectively. Today we're going to give you a brief summary on how to fish live bait. Now you could go on for hours about how to fish a live bait, but this will be a, a summary of a few key points that you want to keep in mind. First off, you want to think about the gear you're using. I like to use anywhere from a six and a half to seven and a half foot rod. This rod in particular is a Seeker Black Steel 196. It's got enough backbone to where you can actually pull on a fish, but it's got a nice light tip to where you can really feel the bait as you're, as you're fishing it. Uh, the, we've got a Trinidad 14 pinned on here. It's backed with, with Spectra. It's got a monofilament top shot on there to where you have plenty of, of yardage when you're fishing a little reel like this. Uh, and still have the nice clear monofilament to fish that live bait effectively. Um, in a later series we'll be talking about the techniques of how to pin on different types of bait. For this, for this let's just assume that we already have one on. When you're getting ready to fish that bait you need to pick a different style of how to get it into the water. One, you could pitch it underhand and let it, let it slide out gently into the water or you can you can do a full overhand cast. When you do that, you need a nice lob cast where you're not getting a lot of snap. If you, if you do have a lot of snap, you're likely to, to weaken the, the hook set on your bait and have that, that bait swim right off your hook. Now, once you have your bait into the water, one of the most important things to keep in mind is fishing that bait uh, to where it swims naturally. The best way to do that is to keep your rod in the free spool and feed the line out to your bait. Rather than forcing your bait to, to pull that line out, you want to feed it out, take your, take your pointer finger, however you want to do it, continue to feed that on out, continue to feed it on. That way that, that bait will look natural in the water. You're more likely to get a lot of strikes if that bait's looking, looking natural underwater, obviously. Now, once you have, once you have a hookup, you're going to immediately notice the spool is, is starting to take off a lot faster. When that happens, you're going to want to put the reel, reel in gear and wait for the line to come tight. You can even reel down towards the fish a little bit to ensure that your line is good and tight before you make that hook set. If your line is not tight before you make your hook set, you're going to end up pulling on slack and not having a good, strong set of the hook. So. If you wind down, you keep that line tight, and you give it a nice good tug, you're going to be able to, to set that hook, you're going to be able to catch a lot of fish that way, and uh, you'll find that it's one of the most enjoyable ways to, to catch a fish, that is fishing live bait. Thanks again for tuning in to DefianceBoats.com, and we'll see you next time.